Okay, so looking at this problem, um, we're going to recognize, hopefully, that now that we know our derivative rules, now that we know about the chain rule and all that good stuff, we're going to recognize we have a function inside another function. We have something like f of x to the negative third, right? So we have f of x raised to, to a value. So therefore, we're going to attack this using chain rule. So when we do our derivative, we're going to take the exponent out to the front, making it negative 3 times whatever this function might be. It just stays the same, right, because we leave the inside function alone. And what do we do with a power rule? It doesn't matter if it's a negative number, if it's a decimal, if it's a fraction. You do the same thing. You subtract 1. So negative 3 minus 1 makes negative 4. Now, we're going to go ahead and say, okay, we did the exponent. We did the outside, right? So now what's left, right? We did this. Now it's times the derivative of the inside. So what is the derivative of the function that we left alone? What's the derivative of the inside? So here we go again. This is three individual problems because of the sum and difference rule. And we're going to say we just take the power out to the front and we say what is this? Well this would be negative 7 times negative 2. That's positive 14 x and same thing. Power rule. Subtract 1. So that makes negative 8. We've now done this derivative. So now sum and difference rule says we do the next one individually. What's the derivative of 7 x? That would be 7. So now that we've done this derivative, now we have to do the derivative of 6. That would be 0. So we are done. Hope that helps.